what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? On Friday, December 15, 2017, at approximately 1.34 p.m., detectives responded to Bay City High School to meet Bay City ISD police. Upon arrival, detectives were advised of a case of improper relationship between educator and student that occurred on Thursday, December 14, 2017. Bay City ISD police had received information that teacher Rachel Gonzalez, 44, Bay City, had already been caught in the back seat of a vehicle with the 13-year-old victim by the child's father. The vehicle had been parked in a parking lot located in the 5200 block of Oak Manor Boulevard. At the request of the district attorney, Bay City ISD PD turned the case over to the Bay City PD detectives for investigation. During the investigation, detectives got a warrant to seize and access the phone belonging to the victim. At that time, they were able to locate evidence indicating there was an improper relationship and detectives requested warrants for the arrest of Gonzalez. On December 22, 2017, at approximately 4.40 p.m., officers served the warrants on Gonzalez. She was transported to the Matagorda County Jail where she was booked in on charges of online solicitation of a minor and improper relationship between an educator and student. Improper relationship between an educator and student. I thought according to our laws that this teacher had been caught raping a 13-year-old boy. I mean, think about it. That's the way it works if it's a guy that's 40 years, 44 years old and the girl is 13. That would be sexual assault, right? What kind of charges they got going on, man? What kind of double standard they got going on around here? You know what? what's amazing is that people think they're not going to get caught. It's one thing to be doing it in the first place. It's a whole other thing to be having sex on the side of the road with a minor and just really think you're not going to get caught. I mean, this woman is stupid on top of stupid. And just think, she's out there educating somebody's children. <laughs> and she don't have the sense enough to, first and foremost, keep her hands out of the cookie jar. But then when she stick her hands in the cookie jar, she do it on Front Street. She don't try to go to her house or try to go to a, a hotel, motel or something. She do it on the street. And did you see the look of her face? That is a hideous looking woman. 44 years old, she look 88. Bad, bad, bad jeans. Man, it's never going to stop, y'all know. You know, normally it's it's the younger teachers because you know, people say, well, you know, the teachers are getting younger and younger and younger and the students are young and they're real close to age. And when we were growing up, you know, the, the teachers were a lot older than the students. So that was little or no chance of something like that happening. They would say little or no chance. That was always a chance of something like that happening. In fact, it pretty much happened a lot but not the way it's happening now but this is a 44 year old woman having sex with a 13 year old kid where they do that at my bad America <laughs> yeah I say she get the same exact punishment that a male would get in this situation shouldn't be any different I mean come on man equality is equality you gotta keep it real. Keep straight by the books, man. Think about, you know what? And listen, don't think that that kid, because he's a boy, he's not going to be affected by having a sex, 
having sex at such a young age and with a 44-year-old woman. I mean, ain't no telling how that kid going to turn out. I mean, he'll probably, like, be really in some really sexual deviant stuff. Uh, it's possible that he could become a serial rapist. This stuff happens a lot, way more often than anybody would imagine. A lot of people think, oh, he's a young kid, man. He's getting his, getting his groove on, man. You know, that's what I'm talking about. You know, that's what I'm talking about. No, nah, man. Yeah, that, that, that stuff can mess a youngster up, man. Kid way too young to be experiencing something like that. Especially with a 44-year-old woman. Why is this not statutory rape? Why is this woman not being, why is that not a huge public outcry? I mean, I, I, this almost escaped me. If I had not been paying attention, I would have missed this story because I was reading up on something else and the story was like a sidebar and I just happened to catch it. But yeah, man, uh, people ain't, that's not this outcry like it would be if it was a female. But imagine what it would be like if the, the teacher was a 44-year-old man and the student was a 13-year-old girl. Think about that. A 44-year-old man, a teacher, caught having sex with a 13-year-old girl in the car. Let me know what you think. No more talk. What, what, what the haters talking about? Yeah.